bitch, I smell like money. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Saturday. It's early in the morning. I mean, it's not that early. It's like 8 o'clock. Um, and I need to go to the barbershop because I've been looking rough. I was planning on keeping my hair wild and crazy. But I just can't do it, man. I just can't do it. I'm out here looking like a straight bum out here in these streets. And I just can't do it. So I was going to bring the kids with me, but I didn't want to wake them up that early on a weekend. I want them to be able to sleep in. So now, I'm going to go to the barber shop, get my hair cut. My barber no longer comes to my house because I had to switch barbers, and my new barber is busy. So now I'm forced to go to the barber shop. Uh, they do not do appointments on Saturday, but we'll see if I can get in a chair quickly because, well, I tip a lot. I'll holler at you guys when we get there. Yeah. Shout out to Hulk, I'm sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Hulk, fuck you, I'm saying I put it to Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TP. I'm in this bitch with 4 I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga, all in my face. 500 racks in my safe. 500 racks to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about putting. So I just made it to the barbershop, and because people are standing outside, I'm going to assume that he's not here yet. Which means I am ecstatic that I did not arrive when he told me to arrive today because actually I am here I'm here exactly on the time that I told him I'll be here I told him I would be here 8 30 is now 8 25 so I, I'm early and from my understanding he was going to be here like 7 o'clock in the morning the barbershop doesn't technically open until 8 30 uh, but there are people standing outside which means he is not here or maybe they're just standing outside and I'm assuming he's not here I probably need to go in and check that because I need to get a haircut see what we could do here all right man so two and a half hours later <laughs> we are finally done and I can get along with the day man he kind of warned me that this could happen today because Saturdays and people not getting appointments etc but god damn man next time I have to come during a weekday or we'll convince him to come to my house so we'll see what we can get into today I gotta stop at the store before I head to the house grab some things for the kiddo and the missus but I'm thinking maybe we can stop at a, a store and maybe do like a challenge see how much fragrance I can get from like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx or one of these type of stores for the Lolo let's go <laughs> <coughs> Oh y'all come on, come on with it then. Huh? Alright, so I was about to leave and then and they caught me. They caught me vlogging, so I gotta to check what's up. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. This is where it goes uh, down. Only only a cutting up. Knock, man. Cutting up barbershop. Knock. No one barbershop in the world. We what's up, man? We snipping them. Where you been at, man? We snipping them. I've been here for two and a half hours. They ain't even nowhere to be found, man. Yeah, we out here. We out here. We bombing them. We photo bombing. Yeah, man. Cutting up. We ain't gonna let you get away that easy. Cutting up barbershop. Sir, so the whole the platinum highlights. Yeah, baby. Only us, baby. Only us. That's funny, young cool. All right, man. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna see what store we can hit up, see what we can do. I catch y'all when we get there. Let's ride. Jeez, I got the mug. I got the same. I got the axe. I got the bang. Get wrecked, dick. Duck. Get wrecked, dick. Get wrecked, dick. Get wrecked, dick. I got the mug. I got the same. Alright, so we've arrived at the destination. There's a Marshalls, the TJ Maxx, and there's also like a Ross. Today, I'm gonna try Marshalls, man. Let me see what they got in there. Hopefully, they allow me to record. See if I can find some fragrances for under 20 bucks. It may not be difficult, but they may not be good. But we shall see, man. Maybe I'll find a gym. Maybe I might be forced to spend more than 20, but I'm gonna try to keep it like 20 bucks and below and give you guys like a real budget, budget friendly fragrance because a lot of you guys say I spend too much on fragrances big BB you're always in sex so now we're gonna go to Marshall's we got Nautica Sport there it's not Voyage it is Voyage Sport 
I think I tried that one, $17.99. You guys know about not a completion itself. Kanye West has a fragrance for oh, whatever it takes. Let's see if we can get that pick that up. Ten bucks, I mean. We could probably try that. Oh, they got an Invictus up here. So Invictus Intense, this is like a small bottle. Forty-five dollars. Ferrari, Burberry. This one's gonna be good for fall and winter. Burberry Brit for men, ribbon. So yeah, a lot, man. Classic stuff. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana, put on Sachi the Dreamer. I have this at home. I don't think I've ever done a review on it. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. I gotta like go back through the log catalog and see what we got there. Chrome Legend. Salad one, legendary. Very one for that. 17 bucks. Not bad. But they got enough. Oh, coach. Coach for men. It's a solid pickup if you can get it for the low. I'm not sure what they got it here for. Um, but it's already made it to the outlets. So if you guys are looking to, to buy it, you may want to come here and save some money. What else we got here? Um, this one is called Black is Black Modern Oud. I wonder what a oud smells like from Marshalls. I'm not familiar with this one, but it's ten bucks, and that Kanye West one was ten dollars too. So if we can get both of them, we got two fragrances for twenty, and then that would be a score. Um, Beverly Hills Polo Club. Can't really wrap those. Uh, for Mustang, I didn't even know Ford had a cologne, but I guess the other car manufacturer has one, so they have to have one as well. Calvin Klein, man, Calvin Klein always has like cheaper fragrances that you can get and not spend a ton for. Them. What is this one? Twenty-five bucks, so not bad. English Laundry down here at the bottom in the gift set. That one is the English Laundry signature, and then they also have an English Laundry uh, sample pack down there as well. Mm. Curve, obviously, they you guys, some of you may know they sent me like um, a bunch of stuff last year, but I never got around to doing anything. They sent me the Curve original, um, Curve Black, uh, and I will. I'm thinking about getting my homeboy over to the house because that was his signature fragrance. So if I can have him go through the various curves with me, the Crush and something else, what is the other one? Sport, yeah, Curve Crush, Sport, the regular and the black one. See which one he likes the best. Artisan Woods, thirteen bucks, not bad at all. But I think, um, I think we might try those two that we got, man. I think we might try that Kanye West and this one. Black is black. I never heard of this company before. Modern Oud, but originally goes for sixteen bucks. It's nine ninety nine. Long far cry from the three hundred plus that we're spending on and fragrances out there. So I think this one would be a solid one to try, just because of the name. And then. Just for giggles, I think we should try the Kanye West, right? You guys know celebrity fragrances suck most times, and we'll see. He tries to be a perfectionist, so we'll see what this one smells like. But over and all, man, I think Chad would be satisfied here from the gentleman's journey because we have Ferrari fragrance in here. You got Invictus in here as well. Again, Versace, uh, Blue Jeans, and Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. So, good selection of fragrances here, man. If you're looking to save some money, I know I typically take you guys to Saks, and we went to Dillard's yesterday, but if you're looking to save some money, it can be some salad pickup, so let's see what we get out of these two. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where did I get the camera? Yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> really, it's nice. It's got like a little microphone thing going on. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Cashier number two, please. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Did you find everything okay? Yes, ma'am. I think so. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so your total is $21.38. All right. And would you like to make a donation for Type 1 Diabetes Research? Sure. How Let's much would you like to donate? Let's do three. Alright, thank you. Okay. Alright, thank you. 
right, ladies and gentlemen, so we did pick up two Ferguses, and that was pretty quick that we were able to do that. Um, I picked up one from Kanye West because he's a fucking idiot, and um, I wanted to see what his Ferguson smells like. It's called Whatever It Takes, and it's in there for 10 bucks, and with him trying to be the perfectionist or whatever he's trying to be in life, <laughs> um, we'll see how it smells. And then I got another one from a company I never heard of before. But the packaging was interesting, so I figured I'll give it a shot. And for 10 bucks a piece, I told you guys I want to stay in the 20 bucks. And uh, when we get to the car, man, we'll see exactly what it costs. I did a little donation as well, so that you know, made the price a little different. But not bad, man. I think we got two fragrances, obviously. We got two fragrances for the price that I wanted to stay under or near about. And uh, when we add taxes on that, man, we didn't do too bad. So hopefully they smell nice. And then you guys will know some things that you can go and pick up for the low. But I figured this would be a good change. And some of you guys ask to see these things. And we're still talking about fragrances. So, it's really real matters. Let's hop into it. So one more thing, man. I'm not sure if this footage is going to make the vlog or not. But the manager came up to me and asked me what kind of camera I had. And I think what she was attempting to do was to see exactly what I was doing and if she was going to tell me to stop or not. Um, luckily, she was cool. She did not make me stop. She was like, hey, what kind of camera is that? It's so cool. You got the big mic and everything on there. I'm like, oh, well, it's a Canon. And where did I get it from? Well, I got it from uh, Best Buy, at least parts of it, <laughs> and put it together. So um, she, was, she was cool, man. She was cool with just letting me do my thing. Um, obviously, I was buying something from them, so that always helps, but <clears throat> I just thought that was interesting. You know, I'm new to trying to do the vlogging stuff, so I'm not sure what the looks and stares that I would get. But actually, uh, my wife and I, we were doing some vlogging yesterday, and um, you'd be surprised, man. People, like, want to be on the vlogs. Now, I think they understand it's a thing now, and um, it's not as weird as it once was. Even though my son said he was embarrassed, <laughs> but he 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 uh, he made it through it, man. So I gotta hit the store for the missus, pick up some medicine for the youngest one because he's still feeling a little under the weather. Um, looks, man, he's back in school. Well, this is the first time in school, and he's been pretty sheltered a lot, so he hasn't been like around a ton of different germs, man. He's pretty much been in the house a lot, so. Now he's being exposed to all these germs, all these, you know, different types of, of germs. So he's been getting uh, sick a little easier than in the past. We took him to the doctors and uh, everything checks out. It's just that, you know, it's all new to him. So it is what it is. Eventually, he'll have seen all the germs and killed them. <laughs> so we're gonna try these fragrances out later. You know, you guys let me know what you think about them. I'm, I'm, that's weird. I'm gonna let you know what I think about them. Or if you have them, let me know what you think about them. I never heard anyone talk about them, nor have I ever gotten a request for any of those fragrances there. But I figure for, for 10 bucks a piece, we really can't go wrong. I mean, we could go wrong. They could smell horrific. Um, the performance could be shit. But I'm doing this all in the namesake of making you guys happy. Because you are part of the B Gang, and we will soon conquer conquer what i don't know but we will conquer it eventually those two boxes are definitely getting crushed no doubt about it they have to be destroyed so we're gonna hop on the highway here let's get it So just leaving Publix, had to pick up this Robitussin um, for the kiddo, man. He, he got a little chest cold, so we got this for him. Hopefully it helps, you know, get him through the rest of the day and night, and then he should be uh, okay. But but day is coming to you an end for being out and about, and then we get to make it to the crib and open up these fragrances and see what we got. All right, man, so we back at the crib, and I got my Marshall pickups. I told you guys I was gonna try to keep it under $20, and it ended up being $24.38, and that was with a $3 donation. 
to some type of charity. I don't know, but it comes up as bag fee. I think I got got. <laughs> Charged me for three bags, but nonetheless, she said it was for a charity, but $24.38. And I ended up picking up two fragrances from Marshalls. One was from Kanye West. It's called Whatever It Takes. And the other one, I don't know what company, New Parfums. And this one is called Black Is Back. And I chose this one because it said modern oud and I was wondering what an oud would smell like from Marshalls. Um, they both traditionally would retail for 16 bucks. Got them for 9 dollars a piece. Let's check it out. So what I found funny about this Kanye West one is that it comes with a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> like you, Kanye West, like on a $10 fragrance, you're gonna give me a certificate of authenticity. It has this big thing on the back and it's signed and printed uh, Kanye West's name. So I just feel like that's very uh, douchebaggish as he would say in a song. This one's for the douchebags and um, so we'll see. I think this one is to aid in some type of charity relief, so we'll check it out with this handy dandy trusty knife, which was sent to me by subscriber Nathan Vest, and I've been talking to him lately on Snapchat, so shout out to you. Check this out. Hopefully this smells like something, because I'm totally prepared to roast you, Kanye. So this is your presentation here. It says, whatever it takes, Kanye West, an artwork done by Kanye. Kanye, Kanye. All right, so I'm not expecting much from a $10 fragrance. Feels very cheap, and I wouldn't expect this from him with his level of, uh, oh, ew, I gotta check. There's something in here. There is something in here floating around. Can you see it? Let me see. Uh. Ew, yes. That's nasty. Yo, <laughs> listen, I just unboxed this and there is something floating around in here. Um, and I don't want to spray this on skin now. So what I'm going to do is break this box. If you guys don't blame me, I have no clue what that is. Obviously you just saw that I unboxed it and there's something floating around in here. He put like human particles in there. So whatever it takes. It, it really, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the crazy part about this, but it does remind me of something. I'm trying to figure out This reminds me of Invictus Aqua That's crazy for $10 That's not bad. Listen, I was I was totally prepared to roast him no, But it's good actually. <laughs> the missus says it's good. This is, smells like This smells exactly like Invictus Aqua Damn, and I was expecting like a lot of alcohol in the beginning of it, and it's not that at all. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised here. This one is, it's nice. A $10 Invictus Aqua. Listen, this is a gem here. Listen, all right. Hopefully you get a bottle that doesn't have like flakes in it. But the missus said something. No, that's just some type of, I don't know. Damn, that's nice. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a review on this one. I'm gonna do a full review on this one. This one is solid. Listen, now we're finding stuff. Now we're being groundbreaking and revolutionary. All right, whatever it takes, Kanye West. I give that one right off the rip. That one smells very very nice. I enjoy that one. Damn, I was not expecting to, to like that, but I do. So let's check this one out. This one is from New Parfums. And this one is. Black is black. So I picked this one up mainly because it said modern oud and I wanted to know what an oud would smell like at $10, right? Um, but let's see what we got here. This is your bottle, your presentation. So you get this rose gold and black cap. Black is black for men, modern oud. So according to the box here, before I smell it, it says the top notes are lavender, bergamot, in your heart, you have oud, cinnamon, and musk. And then in the base, you have labdanum, amber, and patchouli. So it sounds like it could be a nice one. And if we're finding gems, then we're winning. There's nothing floating around on this one, so it's already a plus. All right. One thing I will note about that Kanye West one as well, I did not have to pump the atomizer. Right? It came up on first spray. Alright. Okay, so a bit of alcohol right out the gate. Not feel let me spray this one on the skin. 
Let me try it on skin. I don't want to. Yeah, very much what I expected from the Kanye West went out the gate. A bunch of alcohol. Now, I am detecting the amber in it now, but right out the gate, alcohol. And I'm still getting alcohol from it. So I wouldn't wear this. I'm just going to be honest. I, like, I would not wear this one. I would not recommend that you go purchase this one. It smells cheap, as it is cheap. But uh, I'm detecting the amber in it. And here's the thing, too. So let me just be very clear here, right? When you start getting into, when you wear a lot of niche fragrances, today I have on Silver Mountain Water, right? So you have on niche fragrances, it's it's easier for you to begin to know when something smells like it's not up to par. So if you're not used to wearing those type of fragrances, if you're used to wearing like, you know, $20, $30 fragrances, then this could be a good one for you. This is one that I would not wear though. Like right out the gate, there's a lot of alcohol. I'm getting the amber, I'm not getting any oud at all, and obviously this will be synthetic oud at the $10 price point, but I'm not getting that at all. All I'm getting is bits of amber-ish type of smell. I don't like it, um, but it's another one in the collection. That's what I have for you guys, man. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog style video. Um, this is the Marshalls Challenge. We, we spent 20 bucks, man, not bad at all. We got two fragrances, one which was a surpriser, right? I, I do enjoy this one. This one smells like Invictus Aqua. Now, depending on how it performs, longevity, everything, you guys might be able to pick this one up instead of buying um, Invictus Aqua, and that might make a cheapies list depending on how it performs. So, I will let you guys know. Maybe I can hit up some other stores. If you guys like this video, comment below, and let me know. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Shout out to Marshalls on the $20 challenge, and hit the goddamn bell.